Radical. Welcome to the first edition of Would You Bid on This? Actually, I'm just joking. I'm just uh, killing some time before the next show off Saturday gets uploaded and showing you what I'm actually doing right here. And uh, I am asking you all a question. You see these games right here, Mass Effect 3, Assassin's Creed 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Dragon Age Inquisition, Far Cry 4, and Far Cry 5. My question to you all is, would you bid on this particular gaming lot? You see right there, just popped up? That's money right there. That That's money. That's pure money. GTA 5 is the, the game I sell the most out of anything, regardless of what console it's on. I sell GTA 5 more than anything. So, we got here, the current price of this is 10, 10 bucks. Now, I am guessing this might go up to as high as maybe 18, 19 bucks. Because the shipping's kind of low on this. The shipping and the shipping and everything is going to be eight bucks. So right now, as it stands, outside of you know tax, we're looking at 18 bucks for six 360 games that are complete. They are complete. They look to be in good condition. I mean, it's not like one of those lots to where you have some that are actually just missing or outside of the case. I mean, it's very high likelihood these might be mostly scratch free. Now, they don't show the backs of the disc. That's always a plus. Usually when you see that they show the backs of the disc, it's for one or two reasons. They're really scratched up or they're hardly scratched up. But again, GTA 5, right? You know how much I paid for GTA 5 just at a game store? I paid 13, 14 bucks. I sell it for 20 bucks. But the value of GTA 5 for me is actually having that as a display on the demo 360s. When people walk by, they turn their head and go like, dang, is that GTA 5? You know, then they're hooked. Then they, you know, come over and then they look at all the other games after they play a little bit of GTA 5. Now, Assassin's Creed, those are kind of a dime and a dozen. I have a lot of Assassin's Creed's. As, as the scroll goes through, I'll just comment briefly on these. Dragon Age Inquisition, that might be one that I want to play. I've never played that. And that's the kind of game that, you know, as far as like diversity, I don't have a whole lot of role-playing games in what I offer. Mass Effect 3, hey, you know, it's a great series there, Mass Effect. Not hurting for Mass Effect, though, but Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 5. You'd be surprised how sneaky good those games sell, Far Cry does. I mean, maybe you're not surprised, but uh, that's a very that's a very high-selling game. So Far Cry 4 and 5, I'm sure if I, you know, price them right about 10, 15 bucks each, I would move those. But we're looking at this lot here, and um, I don't think it's a reach. I think personally, I'm going to go for this lot. Now, the next question is, how deep do I go into my pockets for this particular lot? It's a 360 lot. If it was those five games without GTA 5, I probably wouldn't even really care. But the fact that GTA 5 is here, and I currently only have one copy left to display, I think the highest I'm going to go on this one is 20. I don't want to go any higher than 20, because that would be a little bit more than I would pay for GTA 5. Uh, and I just look at it as me getting maybe three or four, or six here those other games free take out tax and yeah essentially if i go 20 on this then i'm getting the bottom three uh, for free there and like i said i might want to play dragon age inquisition now i'm actually gonna mix this with i'm gonna combine this with the other one how about we do that because this is not really a series it isn't unless some of you want this to become a new series hell i hope you don't because i'm already behind on so many series but i'm gonna combine this with well, check this out. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. Look at this abomination. That, that used to be a Microsoft Xbox One S. Used to be. Let me update that. We'll see what the current, uh, current bit is up to. You have to be fucking shitting me. Are you seeing this right here? 52 bucks. 
somebody is actually bidding 52 oh oh it's about over should i put my bid in oh i gotta get this in quick okay i gotta okay <laughs> no 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 i'm not bidding for this i got this to this a little bit late i should have played with this a little bit and actually made you guys think i was actually going to jump on this uh seriously the bottom looks good the bottom see that the bottom looks good that's the only part of this that actually looks halfway decent but we got some wolverine scratches over there to the right side to the left you have a mixture of red and black paint and then yellow look like there's a little bit of yellow piss on the corner of it and you see how i guess a, a paint can literally fell over two paint cans that's the only thing i can think of two paint cans fell over because that is thick paint that is not spray paint that is thick paint and the the whole thing the whole thing is just covered it used to be white you know this wouldn't be that bad if it was the other xbox the black one right wouldn't be too too bad but because it's white that looks just atrocious now outside of just how it looks let's say you're the kind of person you never show anybody your game and stuff it's just for you okay i'm just being serious here maybe there's a lot of people that just can't afford a somewhat current console at 200 250 bucks in the stores and the shipping is this is maybe like 20 bucks so you're looking at like 70 75 bucks but still at that price why would you put down that for this it's not a question of like would you bid on this i'm thinking even if you're hard up and you don't really have much money and you want to play xbox one games and you're not going to show anyone your system the most you should pay for this is 40 45 bucks how desperate and hard up are you that you have to go this route go collect some cans on the side of the highway mow some lawns or do something like that so i'm wondering what is a person that's getting this going to do do they have a method to where they can remove the paint are they going to sand this whole thing down is this a project for somebody they're taking this on they're going to sand this whole thing down i mean i guess it's possible you could sand it down you know you just tape over anything that's electronic you tape over that slit that opening there's various reasons i would not get this if there's all that paint there you see the paint dripping then chances are that paint has dripped onto the internals and a lot of that paint has probably got down into the slit where you put the disc wow I am just absolutely stunned that they just really just didn't chuck this in a trash can and they put it on there.